Here is the solution for the test problem. It is intersection of lines in R2. Find coordinates of intersection of the point between the given lines L1 x plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to y minus 5 divided by minus 1 and L2 x minus 3 divided by 3 equals to y plus 2. Now for lines to intersect they should not be parallel. So let's check that part first. So the direction number for L1 let me say M1 is actually 2 minus 1 and for L2 which is M2 is 3 and this is over 1 right so it is 3 1 now these are not scalar multiples and therefore the lines will intersect so this is kind of important to check before you even start the solution at times you may have situations where the lines may be collinear right or parallel now to solve this equation, it's better to change the form to parametric form and then equate their x and y coordinates. So, for the first equation, L1, we can write x, a general point on this line will be, if we equate to, let us say, equals to t, right? Then, 2 times t minus 1 will be the x value. Do you see that? So, we get minus 1 plus 2t. And the y value will be equals to, I'll have to multiply first, right, minus 1 times t, and then take 5 to the other side. So you get 5 minus t, right? So that is the equation for the first line. Now, for the second line, we'll do the same thing and write the equation in parametric form. So the equation for x will be equals to, and let's say this is equal to the parameter s. x equals to, 3 times s and we'll take 3 on this side so we get 3 plus 3s and the y value will be here think like this we have 1 here right so 1 times s is s and minus 2 so like minus 2 plus s right now if there is a point of intersection then their x coordinates and y coordinates match so we'll equate these two to find the solution so if we equate, we get minus 1 plus 2t equals to 3 plus 3s. And from the second equation, we can now at this stage also simplify it a bit, right? So we can bring these s and t's together or we can write 2t equals to, let me take this on the other side, I get 3s plus 4. For the second equation, which is in y's, we can write 5 minus t equals to minus 2 plus s and from here we can say what is s equals to right we can say s is equals to we take it on that side we get 7 minus t right so now we have two equations in s and t let number them as equation 1 and equation 2 now if I substitute the value of s in equation 1, I can get the value of t, right? So we get 2t equals to 3 times s is 7 minus t plus 4. Now let's solve this to find the value of t and then we'll find the value of s from this equation. So we get 2t equals to 3 times 7, 21 minus 3t plus 4. So bringing it back here, 5t equals to 21 plus 4, which is 25. So t is equals to 5. Now if t equals to 5, then what is s equals to? s is equals to 7 minus 5, and s is equals to 2. So we get some values. We get a value for t as 5, and for s as 2. Now with these values we can substitute in our set of equations for lines, right? So this is the set for line L1 and this is the set of coordinates for line L2 and let's see do we get the same point? If we get the same point only then the lines intersect, right? 
So let's find out. So now what we will do is we'll put t as equals to 5 in the first set and we get the value of x as equals to minus 1 plus 2 times 5 which is minus 1 plus 10 that gives us value of 9 and the y value will be t is 5 5 minus 5 that gives us 0 so the coordinate here is 9 comma 0 from the second set of lines we get x is equals to the s is equals to 2 so we'll substitute this value from 4 so we get x is equals to 3 plus 3 times 2 which is 3 plus 6 right which is equals to 9 and the y value is minus 2 plus 2 which is 0 so we get a coordinate point 9 0 you see we get exactly the same point and that was expected since the lines are not parallel so they will definitely intersect at a point and so we can say the answer is the point of intersection is 9 0 right Nine zero. So that is how we are going to solve these kinds of questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the method. So have a good look at it and then solve it. As an additional problem to this, since the lines intersect, what you can do is, let me add that question right now, additional question for you is find the acute angle. between these lines okay so you can find the acute angle between these lines they intersect so find let's say these are the lines then find the acute angle right you will actually get two angles just select the acute angle between the lines right you can use a dot b to get the angle thank you and all the best